Q&A with Brendan. Let's do this. Okay, so today I'm here with Brendan. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself, my man? Okay, I am Brendan, and I am uh, 10 years old, and um, I am his neighbor, of course. That sounds good, my man. So today we've got a Q&A. It's kind of like a little bit of a random video because no one actually asked us question. I didn't ask you guys to give me questions because today we're going to actually be asking each other questions. So are you ready for this? Good. All right, let's do this. I'm going to start with the first question. What is your favorite color? Uh, is black color? Black is a color. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. So black is your favorite color? Well, I kind of want to for my eyes. It's very hard to choose like between red, blue, and mm. green. Red is a nice color, you. Man United. All right, ask me a question. What, what do you want to ask me? It could be anything What's random. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Uh, that would really have to depend on the mood I am in. Like, late night snacks for me is definitely vegetarian chicken strips if I've got some. And uh, a nice piece of cake or pie. But, like, favorite food in general, there's got to be a, a hamburger, man. I think that's an all-time classic. I think a hamburger is really nice. That's a good question, actually, though. Um, do you like school? Do you like going to school? Sometimes it depends. Depends on it, actually. Okay, and if it depends on... What does it depend on? Your mood or... Mood, yeah, mood, yeah. Let me guess, you don't like Mondays. No, no I'm not. None of us like Mondays. It's, you know that feeling when you know it's Sunday, like, crap, I have school tomorrow. I don't want to think about it. And then you wake up, gosh darn it, it's Monday already. Well, the best day, I think, is Fridays. Like, Fridays were always so chill, you know. Fridays and, then and Saturdays. Exactly. And Fridays are the chillest day because you don't, like, yes, it's a weekend, you know. It's a good yeah. question. All right, ask me something, man. I'm curious. No, you, you asked hey, me. Hey, did I ask you? Yeah, you asked me. You said that, and it was a good now, question. But you got to ask me a question, though. Okay, now, now it's... Better. Yeah. What is your f uh, favorite animal? Uh, a cheetah. It's always been a, one of my favorite animals because it's fast and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful animal. I think it's a cat as well. I think it's a, I think it's a cat. Yeah, 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 type of. Um, I, think, I think it's a type of cat. Yeah. Yeah, it, no, it is. A, I think it is a cat because a lion is also a cat. I, I think. Lion and a uh, panther or something. What do you like to do in your spare time, like outside of school mm. and and YouTube? Because you do also do YouTube. What what's what's like your one thing to to do outside? Of, everything it could like, be with friends or anything we play with friends on games like online mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty chill i wish i had friends that's the one thing <laughs> I, that's the one thing i can tell you is when you're at his in, at a certain age of like eight nine ten you've got like friends you like to hang around with right but i can guarantee you the older you become the more it's it actually becomes more fun the older you get growing up with all the people because you understand each other more you know when you're like a kid you're you're still a kid you're very childish right it's a very normal thing but i actually when i was your age didn't have friends around the age of nine or ten oh, i had yeah. friends that were like 17 18. Now you might be wondering right now that's a bit weird right but actually it isn't because i got to know these people and i still have contact with them today to this day they still live close by i got to know them because of my brother because a friend of us used to live in the back here yeah. In the street here, behind the street where you live, street there, and some further up on. So we all knew each other, and we all like clicked each other as like a brotherhood. And we still talk to this day with each other. Once in a while, we see each other. And the nice thing is about seeing each other once in a while, it feels like it's legit, you know? It doesn't feel fake. Because you know if you see someone or people too often, it becomes irritating, right? But when you see someone once in a while, it becomes actually really nice, and it just stays real, you know? You probably don't understand that. I know because I have that already. Mm. Like oh, I had do? that once. I had that once. Like, yeah. A friend of mine. Um, we played once. Yeah. And the second day he came again with without even asking. Say asking mm. if he, or he ca if he could 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 come could over. Come, yeah. Oh. yeah. And then um and then after that he came again like for five days later and he just came and came and came. <laughs> Dude, that sounds a bit wrong. <laughs> Sorry to say, but it's 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 awesome what you're saying. I know, but I if you know what I mean, <laughs> it sounds a bit, it sounds a bit dirty. I'm sorry. I know man. what you mean. No, it's not. I, my man, you you also thought about about it. Don't be, don't be acting like I'm the weirdo here because yeah, I know, the way I he know, says it, I it know. just <laughs> he came in five days late. He came, came. It sounds a bit. <laughs> okay, did you have? Did you ask me a question on you? No. Um, oh God, no. Uh, no, asked. I asked you. Yeah, you asked. Okay, me all right. So your turn. Okay. Um. Uh, what is your favorite color actually? It's actually pink. Oh? Yeah. It's actually, this is my favorite color. Pink. And a heart. That's a good question actually. That's actually, uh, yeah, a lot of people think it's weird that I like the 
color pink because they associate it with stereotype things, you know. We're not going to talk about drip. it though. Yeah. Drippy red? No, drip. Oh, yeah. It's, it, I mean, pink is nice, but I do realize there's not a lot of clothing designers that make pink clothing. Like, I only, the no. ones that I only know at the moment is like Stone Island with like the pink sets, which I think they're really nice. I think they're unisex or they're like uh, male or female. Like they're very nice, like but they're expensive. I ain't paying two hundred euro for a pants. You mad? Hmm. Alright, it's my turn to ask you a question. Okay. Um, what's your favorite fast food place to to go to and why? Oh, hold That's up. a good one, huh? Hold up. Because we don't have a lot of fast food restaurants really here in the neighbor. We only have McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Subway, Domino's, New York Pizza, Sparrow Actually, Express. Since I have. Um, uh, eight spares of uh, Sparrows Express. That's good. And I really like it. The veggie burgers are really nice. The Sparrows as well. I, I remember them. I had the Sparrows off them. It's kind of on the pricey side though, unfortunately. That is the one thing I can note. The price is a bit high, but it is quality what you get though. Is it worth the money? You could say yes or no, because you do get a large amount of food for what you pay for. Uh, but I've had it as well once. You know, I had a fruit cocktail, you know, and I, I got a goddamn fruit cocktail. It was with... It was all nasty. It was soggy. It was. It wasn't. It was over the date, which meant they gave me another one, and they gave me twenty five percent discount the next time I ordered. Yeah, I didn't order next time. There wasn't a next time because it was the last time I ordered. But actually, the first time I ordered with you was with that muck pink weeks ago. That was the first time I'd ordered since they messed up my order because they had it in the past as well with me that they messed up my order. I'm like, where's the extras? You know, you know when you order stuff online, you pay for extra, you don't get extra like sauce, and they forget your food. I yeah. saw some businesses do it on purpose to make like money. Like when I uh, <laughs> bought my jacket, mm. like my mom bought my, bought my jacket. Yeah. It it actually had like a like a little hood. Like a it. removable hoodie. Yeah, but one thing they did not know is they did not put the hoodie in there. Oh, so they forgot that. Yeah, so I uh, was <laughs> only with the jacket without the hood. That's you wonder how it can go wrong though. Like for real, I, I sometimes think like the businesses do it on purpose, like not put certain I- items what the customer orders and pays for. You know. I think and they do that to make the customer buy more because they want them to buy the hood, and then the mm. hood costs another certain amount, so they can have more money for it. I also think that sometimes they forget and they say um, an accident. Uh, to keep the product, which means that the customer's paid for it, which means the company's already got the money 100%, they've made 100% on the product, and then they can sell it again for another customer. I mean, I've had it before, when I, you know, like, f- order my food, they forget a certain thing, and then I email, then I call them and say, yo, I forgot this, so they said, okay, no problem. I've had it once as well, when I ordered chicken strips, and, um, God, I think they forgot a sauce, or I ordered, like, four or five extra sauces for a mukbang video, it didn't arrive, so I had to call them and said, yo, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but uh, you, you guys forgot my sources, which I did pay two euro for. Uh, I would like to have my sources if that's not an issue. She said, yeah, sure, no problem. And without me knowing, they gave me two extra sources, so I got seven sources, and I got a free Sunday ice cream, which I'm like, huh, I'm not, <laughs> compl- I'm not complaining at all. Do you, know what, do you know why companies do that with customers? Give them a certain item for free? Do you, you, you know why they do it? No, actually. So that the customer, they often try to do that so that the customer doesn't get back. doesn't get convinced to write a negative review about it because a negative review can hurt and it does hurt a business, you know, regardless of if it's big or small. It can change another individual's mind and think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't order, which makes them also automatically lose a bit of money, right? But they also do it to keep the customer satisfied and to hopefully keep the customer and that they will come back. Pass, yeah, exactly, come back the next time. That's a very small marketing. You, it's actually not for free because you've paid for your food. It's just they forgot something which you get. You think in your mind, oh, I got a free ice cream. But you actually paid for the ice cream without realizing it. Because it's not for free. You had to pay for it. Okay, who, uh, who asked me a question already? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, Are you asked me a question, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to ask me a question. Okay. Have you ever, uh, on accident, ate meat? Like, have you ever eaten meat, like, before on accident? Like, like, like in this period of time being vegetarian? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Well, though it wasn't my fault. I swear to God, it wasn't. Uh, just, you know, you know, I, you know I make mukbang videos, right? Yeah. So I think two, three months ago, I just went to McDonald's. I swear to God, I kid you guys not. And I don't, I'm not lying as well. I ordered the vegetarian uh, homestyle crispy chicken. And um, I get came home and I opened it in the mukbang. You know, I just thought I'd open it for once in a mukbang. 
And I swear, to, and I swear to God, I open it, I eat it, and I'm like, God damn, this tastes weird. It's slimy and stuff. So I, I, I chew it, and I, in the video, I'm like, Oh my God, this is goddamn real. This isn't fake. I could taste it. It was real chicken. I haven't, I didn't forget, and I still haven't forgot what real chicken tastes like. I, I don't forget what f real meat tastes like. I can definitely tell you what is real and fake with chicken. I but I was like so scared. I was like, God damn, I don't know. But I was really confused with this one because I didn't know if this was real or fake. Because you know, the, the vegetarian burgers at McDonald's, they come pretty close to the real ones. So it's sometimes for me very tricky to, 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 the, to make, yeah, to the one real and the other fake, you know. So I was like, yeah, this is real. I could Wait. definitely taste that it's real because it was slimy. And my honest opinion on it, I didn't enjoy it that much because I knew it was real. Okay, now we That was the first time I ate meat on accident, but it wasn't my fault. It was McDonald's who screwed the order up. So yeah. What's your have you ever accidentally ate have you ever ate something that you after felt like I didn't like it? Like what for kind of food? You know actually egg. once egg, you don't like egg? Mm. Oh, it's true, you don't like egg with noodles. When Queenie makes us noodles, you don't like the egg in it. No, I, I like it but only yeah. because uh, he, she made you also some noodles, the one that, uh, yeah. yeah, the one that I made. But um, the sauce from your noodles was still on there, and like I, I did not like the sauce. You don't like the sauce of the noodles oh, that you had, and then she put the eggs on there, and then I had like a weird taste. I was like, Oh, oh God, it was burnt. It was burnt, wasn't it? The no, it was a sauce that was mixed with oh, the no, egg. You know, oh, yeah, no, I had it as well. I didn't like it as well. She messed yours up pretty bad. She can cook good, though. Don't get it wrong, but just... But only with the sauce it mixed, mm. it was enough. Yeah. Hmm. Shall, we, shall I... Did I ask you a question? Uh, no. I, yeah, you asked yeah. me a question. Okay, you can ask me the last question, and then shall we round this video? Okay. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, just think, think of something, like, outside of the box. Sorry, I'm just doing something small. Like maybe try to think of something outside of the box. Like like a good, good, good question to end this bang of a video. Hmm. Like what can you think of? Like let's just think. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Well, that's a good one. Um. Gosh, definitely my number one wish is to. Huh? Have a cheat. Oh god, god no, no. Um no no no. I would definitely want my grandfather to be back alive. That's number one. Second is I would want to be the richest person in the world. And third is um third one is let me see. Subscribers maybe or something. No, actually that's not the third one. You can make the third one one for me yeah I, I give you the honor the third, third one i can't think of a third one actually maybe like the, you reach like a 10 million subscribers on youtube i actually don't wish that at all no, i actually <laughs> actually i feel comfortable with the position i am right now as a creator i, I like this it's actually great actually your subscribers actually right now yeah i've almost got a half a million on my main channel ah. second one like 126 th and the third like this channel is like six oh i have another question there. okay one question last, okay, last okay. one what are you gonna do when you reach one million on your other channel? Oh god. Well, I first have to reach it, obviously. I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to reach it. If I, I mean, I don't know for how long I want to keep on continuing this YouTube thing, you know? That's that's kind of like the main question, like for how long do I want to continue making these videos? You know, because I definitely- you, you can also take a break, like, you know? Yeah, I, I like know, but I, yeah, but I just like m m recording videos. I, It's kind of like, you can say that I'm sort of forcing myself every day to record. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep it very honest. Sometimes I'm like, God, I don't want to record today. I, I'm just not in the mood. But then I'm just thinking of my f viewers. I'm like, well, they're the ones who really want to me to make a new video. So I, I go and make a video because of that, really. Okay. Actually, this was a very good video, I think. What did you think? Actually, very, very good. I think, I'm kidding you guys or not, I think this is the the best video we've made yet so far, talk, talk wise. Like, you actually, yeah, really actually, sp yeah, you actually yeah. spoke, you didn't mumble this time. Because on your channel, you, I don't know what it is with you, with you. When I'm with you, you get very, I don't know what it is, unsure maybe, perhaps? On your channel when we do mukbang Yeah, together? I don't know really what to say sometimes. Maybe you get yeah. nervous. I'm not nervous, but I just don't know what to say sometimes. I mean, I know it's an honor being friends with the Virgin King, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, I, I know, I know, I know it's an honor. You don't have to, you don't have to lie. I know it's a big honor. 
please subscribe to me. Uh, I'm just joking now, but this was actually a very good, vi cool video. Me and Brendan decided to just go ahead and make each other today. We just decided to give each other questions, and uh, yeah, we could definitely do this in the nearby future, you know. Uh, when you're watching this video, we are on Fortnite. Uh, hopefully, we've won a game because uh, I think yesterday yes, we didn't. No, but the day before we won one game, I think, and the rest of the games were like top ten at least. You know, every like, time. Like, like we were number three, number two, or number four. Yeah. Like, we always get... And we always get high, but then we don't win. Exactly. Or number eight, but once we got, like, number, like, 14 or something. Yeah, I think but I don't even know what our worst game is. With Benjamin, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we, we really got, like, seven, 47 plays or something. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, we're going to end this podcast video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Later on Kigo Mukbangs, I've got a new KFC Mukbang video coming out for you guys. Tomorrow on Kigo's podcast, we've got a new video. And a new ASMR video coming out tomorrow as well. And, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you later, man.